Hi, I'm Barry Crater with Cisco's HGTS Collaboration Team. Today I want to show you how to use Capture Rotate to allow for longer duration packet captures in the Cisco Unified Communications Manager. First, open a PuTTY session into the node or nodes on which the extended capture or captures will take place. To see all the options for Capture Rotate, you can type in the command utils network capture rotate question mark. The default values have 10 files which are 25 megabytes each. These files can be modified to suit your needs depending on how much data you need to preserve and how quickly we can stop the capture once the event has occurred. The earliest files will overwrite once you reach the maximum number of files. I'm going to show the date to get the time we are starting this capture. In our example, to demonstrate the rollover, we will set our parameters to two files of one megabyte each. If the outputs were set too high, the system will warn us if the node will be stressed to capacity and if the parameters should be resized in order to preserve an appropriate amount of disk space. Capture continues until you hit Control C, which returns the prompt, where the PuTTY session is closed. To ensure there's activity here, I will ping this node from other nodes within the CUCM cluster. Now we can go collect those files using the real-time monitoring tool. Open up the tool, hit OK after entering the IP address. Enter your credentials, the same ones used for the administrator login. Normally the default configuration is selected next. In the next screen under System Tools, choose Trace and Log Central. Then select Collect Files. Use next to get to page two, and on that page, scroll down to the packet capture logs for all servers, or the servers on which you started the packet capture in the PuTTY sessions. In the collect files pop-up, choose relative time going back the number of minutes, hours, days, and pick an empty writable directory using the browse key. Now hit finish. The directory on the PC will now have one or more files containing packet captures. Simply rename the extension to .pcap and open the file using Wireshark. Compared to the show date, you can see the first file and second file have overwritten with new data. Thanks for watching.